All righty. Good morning. Watching the surf. High surf warnings along the coast. Pretty much California all the way south to Santa Barbara's got waves right now. It's big. It's perfect conditions. You can see how textured the ocean is. This is Mavericks. It's about 15 to 20 foot today. That's what they're calling it. That's on the faces. It might be a little bigger than that. And it's clean. And you see how the, the wave is coming in, how it's sort of, we call them A-frames, but it sort of peaks up. And you got a left and a right that comes off of it right there. It's hard that that one didn't do it. But the idea is that the bottom, the bathometry of this place of Mavericks is unique and allows for the waves to get really big. Now, Ocean Beach is big today, too, but it's not surfable and it's not it, there's no you know, it's just too hard to get out. Ocean Beach is just a bunch of closeouts right now. I mean, you could get out there, but it's gnarly. And that's when Mavericks showed up. <clears throat> it's been around forever. But when folks started surfing there, finally we were able to surf, I say we, <laughs> my friends, were able to surf giant waves functionally, in other words, sustainably, because there's a big channel, there's a big deep channel out by Maverick, so you're not taking a wave after wave after wave on the head. You can take a few on the head, but you generally get pushed out into the deeper water, whereas a place like Ocean Beach doesn't happen. No, enough of that. So we're watching surf right now. It's about 13 feet. Oh, it's about 10 feet, 17 seconds right now, I believe, which is pretty good size, really good size, 15 to 20. And so the swell is going to get a little bit bigger in the next few hours, and it's going to drop off. And we we're talking about bathometry at the bottom of the ocean and how it impacts surf. This is Mavericks, or Pillar Point. And this is from surfline.com, which is in my links. That see the bottom, the, the, this is basically ocean floor topography. So forget there's an ocean, just go, oh, it's, it's a valley and a, and a ridge. Well, these are ridges and these are valleys. And the ridges and the valleys focus the wave. Nazare does the same thing in Portugal, does the same thing, but it focuses this wave and actually takes energy from other directions of swell and jacks it up. And then, of course, Mavericks is right here. And then here is the deeper water channel, which is why it makes it surfable. Because when you get you get hammered, you can get pushed out into here or paddle out into here, and you can paddle out with your hair dry right to the main peak again. Again, um, just a really a really nice day for surfing at Mavericks. Now, you've got to be good, but it's a, there's going to be some interesting pictures that come from that. This is Steamer Lane today, a high surf warning there as well. They're calling Steamer Lane um, eight to ten. And you can see how fun it is. It's good tide for Steamer Lane right now. It's just good times. It's wrapping around the point. It's not as big because it doesn't have the bathometry. It doesn't have the bottom topography that Mavericks does. But it does have a topography, that point, um, lighthouse point, which allows the waves to hit the, hit the point. And they don't get funneled so much like Mavericks where they focus on a peak they get turned into the bay. And that's what this is. These waves, these waves are coming from out here and wrapping in. I wonder if I can do this. I'm gonna take a chance right now. Let's see if I can do this. I think I can do this. Okay, so the waves out here are more directly hitting. Here, they come in and they start to refract around the point and they bend in. See how that wave's turning in? So the waves aren't necessarily coming from here. They're coming from here and then they bend in like that. And they turn in and as they turn in, they get cleaned up. They get groomed, if you will. The, the ranch in Santa Barbara is like this. A lot of oh, Santa Barbara is like this, Rincon Point. Point waves in the world of surfing, in my world, they're awesome because you, but the kids the kids that rip now, the launch airs like uh, beach breaks and stuff, but, but the point wave is sort of the classic Malibu, Rincon, um, it, 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 that it, you know, it just is. And when you, you know, my age, and you see a good point break, and you want to go to it. This is Ocean Beach, and the problem with Ocean Beach today is it's scary. You're taking them on the head. There are channels, but they're constantly opening and closing based on the tide. The tide swings, right? It's it's, it's a sandbar, and even during the session on a bigger day like this, the sandbars move around in, in within the, the time that you're out there, and the tide's constantly moving. So. Um, Ocean Beach, I'm sure there are some brave souls out there, but it is not uh, not for this brave soul. Okay, and we go to the mountains now. And this is from Heavenly Valley, right? Wow, do we look where you live? <laughs> I mean, look where you live. It's like, oh, well, I'm sorry, we're looking at world-class surf, and now we're looking at world-class skiing, and oh, you're three hours apart. 
That's why it costs a lot to live here. But that's why if you live here, uh, you're generally a lifestyle person. You really are. You're someone who this matters to. If it doesn't matter to you that you can go see redwoods and go crab fishing and go mountain biking and go surfing. If it doesn't matter to you, that's I get it. I get it. Virginia's for you, man. But if you this stuff matters, yeah. It's it it's it's the place. So that's Lake Tahoe, obviously. Not a lot of wind. It is a beautiful morning. You notice there's not a bunch of fog. This is the south end of the lake. And you can just see that there's some snow in the trees. That's an indicator, right? That it was cold last night and snowed. Up on Siberia Express at Palisades. Temperatures this morning down in the twenties. And just perfect. The snow's good. They got over a foot of snow last night. I talked to Billy Hudson today. He said about 8 to 12 inches. So that's on top of a little bit of crustiness because remember we had a little bit of high elevation uh, snow, rain. Um, but that fresh stuff's going to really adhere nicely to that. Yeah, just a beautiful day. I'm sure it's going to be busy up there. We'll get to some weather here. Here's the snow in the mountains. This is the visible satellite from NOAA, National Weather Service out of Monterey. And you see the high cirrus clouds drifting free from the topography generally. And then you see pretty clear day. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. Look And look at the nice, look at the snow elevation. See the edges here? That snow's down to Blue Canyon. Now we hadn't seen that in a couple of days. We've had a number of atmospheric river or some tropical rain events or just rain events, but warmer. And so a lot of that snow had melted, but we did pick up some snow down lower elevations. You can see it just visually, right? where it is so that's awesome no fog along the coast and just a beautiful beautiful day in the bay area i hope you got it well it's saturday you probably have it off um and then this is the model and I, the first thing i'm gonna do is just blow through it right you see us i'll put it i forgot to put the circle yesterday i'll put a circle today where we are but you can probably see it and then there's an offshore wind event and see that that's high pressure and uh, dude i'm going through time i am going through time oh my gosh it is where, where are we? January 16th, 18th. Okay, there's, oh, hello. Right around the 18th. Looks like we got a shot at something. That's awesome. Okay, all right. There's some hope. I didn't see that in the first run. So this is a couple of the last couple of frames. 12, 12 in the morning or uh, 4 in the morning, Saturday, January 18th. We're back into uh, in a, potentially a wet weather pattern. We will we'll see. That can change. That will move around. But you, the, the, the big takeaway here is it's going to be dry for a while. It's going to be dry for a while, at least through that period. We'll look at it again with a larger eye. This is the uh, here. Here we are. I moved. The, I centered us up a little better this time and we're going to move through time and we'll see that this is vorticity at 500 millibar. And, you know, I think you're probably comfortable with it. There's an inside slider. Just see how it comes down the backside. That's cold. That's going to drop temperatures. You're going to have some freeze warnings, frost advisories. Then the ridge builds in, and then ridge, 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 dry, dry, dry. Kind of an inside slider, yeah, for sure. Does the same thing. And then you're going to clearly, I bet you can see the system coming in towards the 19th. Right, not there, almost. See how it's clipping? There it is, right there. So that's, that's that, and that's a good looking storm. Holy smokes, but that's a ways off. But that's, where are we on that thing? That's uh, 12Z, the 19th. Yeah, so that's what the GFS is picking up on. All right, so it's a ways out. This is Mount Shasta because we got to do it. This is this morning, moving through time, and you're waiting to see the top of the mountain. It'll show up. It's interesting how the clouds lower here, a little valley fog out in Mount Shasta uh, over towards Weed. This is, um, oh, isn't that beautiful? There's the peak. And you can see the lower elevation snow as well, which is nice. And then we'll do one more. This is from Mount Tamalpais. And this is this morning as well. And you see a little bit of valley fog kind of in those, in those spots. And yeah, a little bit of fog in the valley. And you see it coming the other way. That's the opposite of the summertime fog. So beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, surfs up. It comes down a, a little bit the next couple of days, but it still stays large. In other words, so today it's uh, Mavericks is 18. To, well, let's go Ocean Beach. Today, Ocean Beach is 15 foot. Uh, 8 to 15. So that swell drops down to 8 to 10 tomorrow, and then 7 to 9, 8 to 10. It kind of hovers in that 8 to 10 range. So it's it, in terms of you guys who are fishermen, the ocean's still pretty gnarly, not at, not horrifyingly big, but but still dangerous and, and deserves your respect. Um, we've got some nice weather ahead. Enjoy the weekend. We will talk to you again tomorrow.